Hey, all you viewers to play later. How we doing today? Of course, you know, I just kind of forgot to do something. So forgive me as I mumble through this really, really quick. It figures, you know, good job, Chris. You're filming a video and you forget to get some adulting done. <laughs> Way to go, dummy. All right. You should be right around here somewhere. Sorry, guys. I really am. You know, if I was smart. Aha. There we go. I would just click and go, nope, we're just going to do this. But nope. I love doing these things in one take, the good, the bad, the ugly, and everything else. So as you know by that thumbnail and everything else you clicked on to get here today, today we're taking a look at the Adeptus Custodes Combat Patrol by Wyama 40K. Now, with Leviathan right around the corner, and Games Workshop is talking about Combat Patrol, Combat Patrol, Combat Patrol, this is everything you're going to need to start to get a game rolling, boom, no-brainer. Plus the fact, with the Custodes... Low model count, high point value. I almost have a 2,000 point army sitting right here. This was in addition to things I had earlier that I've already brought to the channel. Boom. No brainer. Now, speaking of the, eh, speaking of the adult stuff and Chris is tongue tied this morning, he needs caffeine. As of Friday, May 19th, currently on Amazon, it's 127.50 Prime. So that's not a bad deal considering if you go to Games Workshop's web store, I know you're going to pay more. Now let's get the other bit of the adulting out of the way. We're going to pause really quick for a word about our unofficial sponsor. Hey, all you viewers to play later. How are we doing today? I know, new month. We have a new unofficial sponsor of the channel. Copper Johns is joining the family for the month. I will be integrating this video in some upcoming ones. Guys, seriously, you've gone to cons. Adapticon just finished up. You know that maybe you want to have that slanish see fun, but man, you got Nurgle's rot. Dude, Copper Johns got you hooked up. They got beard oil. They got beard butter. They've got beard wash. They've got you know, bar soaps. They've got everything you need to take care of your body. They've got supplements and other great things. Look down below in the description box. You're going to see a link right to their pay, you know, right to their web store. Check them out. Let them know I sent you. You will not be disappointed by anything you buy from them. Guys, incredible company, incredible owner. Seriously, I stand by all of his products. Amazing stuff. Okay, so you get 18 miniatures in here. For custodies, you, you, you're going to sit and go, 18, well, that's just like, you know, I don't know, maybe a squad or something, maybe this. No, custodies are low miniature, count, low miniature count in the unit, but high points values because they get the ever-loving you-know-what whooped out of them. This was a great addition to what I had before because after buying a couple units of Alaris Terminators, um, the Shadow Throne box set, a unit of guard. This was able to flush everything out to huge levels. Plus the fact the Virtus Praetor is in there, the jet bike guys, oh yeah. All right, there's the back of the box. And I've been painting the crap out of this. I really truly have. Um, I'm going to show you today basically the painted ones that I've got done and unfortunately two primed ones because I just recently got onto the Sisters of Silence. Um, they were sitting in the box for a while and I was like, eh, one day, eh, one day, eh, one day. And then I picked up a different box of Sisters of Silence and I'm like, okay, well, we got to do them. Now, what I loved is they said, hey, you get transfer sheets. You get two of, excuse me, two of them in the box set. I was like, custodies, transfer sheets, what? And then when I opened the box, oh, I got overjoyed. Especially any of you who've watched my Horus Heresy videos, when all you get is Imperial Fists and, you know, the Sons of Horus. Whoo, yeah. Thousand Sons in Space Wolves, Thousand Sons in Space Wolves. CG dub, I knew you had different stuff out there. Why don't you include some of these in all the other kits, please? Of course, I'm thinking to myself, this probably came out during the um, burning of Prospero. So, okay, I don't care. These are going to get put to good use because I got to get back to painting my, well, <laughs> the route. And yeah, I, I got a lot of work to do. And, you know, transfer sheets always burn out quick. But okay, as usual with everything with G-Dub, you get an instruction manual. It's really, really easy to follow. One of the things I'm going to suggest is 
when you're assembling like your sisters, which of course I pulled that up right to there, follow those stuff big time because you could get a little lost because there's multiple ways to put them together in this kit. You could use them as the witch seekers, the vigilators, or the prosecutors. So I made mine into witch seekers and uh, where are you? Where are you? The vigilators, the big old sword chicks. But you get the sprues, you get the fun stuff, and yeah, you just just follow along. Follow along the instructions. Really, really easy to follow. Really, really easy to do. And of course, like they usually do in the very back, they give you weapon stats. Okay. With everything else in G-Dub, sprues. Sprues, 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 sprues. You can't get away from it. Especially with the Sisters of Silence, because they give you multiple head options. There's multiple ways to arm them. There's multiple stuff to do. So, you're going to have a lot. Like, seriously. Those are just my sister sprues, right there. Some of them, you know, I, I don't know. I... Eh. I'm not too sure if I'm going to save these because I need five more of the sword chicks and five more of the flamethrowers. And then I'll have 30 sisters of silence total, which may be an awful lot. I don't know. I really don't know. I really don't care. That's one of the uh, the Virtus Praetor bikes left over. You pretty much are going to use everything depending on which weapon option you go or which head option you go. All right, come here. See? There's an armored head sitting right there with the little ponytail. It, yeah, because that was the sergeant, for lack of a break, the shield captain. So, yeah. And the guard. <sighs> Depending which way you equip them. I went with a mix of the swords and sh sword and shield guys. I gave it, you know, Vex a Vexilus, finally, because... I didn't read my codex properly the last time. I know, huge shock, shut up. And, you know, I just went a different route with the original guard that I had. But, big stuff, leftovers on the spur. That one is definitely being saved because I've got some ideas for some stuff in the future. Alright, let's get into the fun stuff, alright? Now, <laughs> they give you multiple bases for, you know... The Praetors, the big flying jet bikes. They give you three of these and three of these. All right. My idea when I put the bikes together was I wanted the clear base. I wanted them like they're flying over the battlefield. You wanted to see the scenery under the base. Because I don't know about you. Like, you get something in your head where you want, I want a snowy, desolate wasteland. And then you end up going to your local gaming store and all they have is like, arid desert so it looks really weird putting down people who look like they're fighting in the snow over an arid desert so i really wanted that clear base but of course that would never happen so the first one of these i did i did what games workshop told you to do snip the little butt of the base off super glue it in place right there let it sit you're gonna be good the first one i did was the only one of these little ball caps that actually fit in the jet bikes. Everybody else was flopping all over the place. No lie, flopping all over. And of course, after it sat, I put the jet bike on top 48 hours later, and I went to the store. Came back, the jet bike was back, and all the super glue had kind of moved. So it was kind of ruined, kind of couldn't do it. Drilled through the base with a pin vise, glued everything in place multiple times, as you can see, and then went, okay, let's put the bike on top. Flippity floppity, snippity stop. Yeah. Fun. So, I had to do creative stuff, like green stuff in the hole, put the peg in the hole, get the thing, then let that sit and cure, and then super glue that in place in, in order to ensure the jet bike stayed in place. But, enough about that. Where are you? Oh, here's the first one. Okay. Here's the sergeant. I really wanted his bike to be a little bit different than everybody else. And yeah, what I had envisioned, because I got another box of the Virtus Praetors, I'm going to have three with the Hurricane Bolters and three with the Missile Launchers. So I have a wide option that's already what you see is what you get, that kind of thing. Um, 
I didn't want everything to be totally gold. I wanted some red in different areas to kind of really make him stand out. You know, as he's the boss. Not just the, he doesn't have the little top knot flowing, but, you know. So, that's the shield captain. And I recently finished a normal guy. So for these, I really wanted the red on the wings to kind of signify something different as a normal trooper, as opposed to the shield captain, has more gold. I did go with a very minimal approach with the red on the wingtips, just because they're normal troopers. Seriously. Biggest problems I had with this going together was um, the lance. Just holding it in place, making sure everything cured, making sure it didn't slip and slide and move and that other fun stuff. Plus... The last Praetor that I haven't got together. See that little hand right there? Well, his it isn't really there. It's like a little nub connecting to um, the steering wheel. For the bases, I took a tip from Peachy Tips because I, I especially with the Horse Heresy releasing the Imperial stuff, I can do double duty with these guys back at 30k, so the Custodes basically only fight on Terra. They're there to guard the Emperor. They're the inner guard of the palace. So a ruined wasteland look. So Astro Granite, yeah, Astro Granite with a Reichlin Flesh Wash gave me the muddy battlefield look. I don't know, I, I liked how some of this turned out. I really like how simple it was. Um, once you get an understanding of where you want to go with the guys on the jet bikes, they go together real quick. The biggest problem I had was right there with the ponytail. I had it going backwards, but I guess I didn't pay attention too much to the drying process because I kind of had it in a weird angle. So the ponytail slipped. So his top knot is going this way down to the side. So I'm thinking to myself, okay, well, maybe those things revolve, you know, weapon in the wind. They're kind of in a holding pattern, get ready to charge. That's what I told myself in my head. All right. Now, I'm going to show you the two unprimed ones. So the Witch Seeker sisters have little flamers. I do like the fact they're, all their poses, they're, they're not really monopose, but they have this like little slits in there, inside the miniature itself, so the arms kind of click right in place, and you can line things up really, really easy. I had less of a pain in the butt time getting these together than I did some um, 30K Marines lining up the bolters and everything. Biggest problem I had with the sisters putting them together was the heads. I had to seriously hold them in place for a little bit because they kind of want to either go to a side or all the way back. So there's a witch seeker. That's one way you can assemble them. I love the sword chicks. I just really do. Like big, you know, big ass, badass women going into battle and going. Yeah! I had a problem getting some of the stuff to line correctly, but it happens. So like I said, see your head. I don't want cockeyed. It happens. Now, because of the Shadow Throne box set, I did get to paint some sisters already. And yeah. So, those are my prosecutors with the bolters. I wanted something really, really simple for their cloaks. I didn't want anything too in-depth. So, I went with a speed paint purple, covered it with a voluptuous pink, I think it is. And I, I like the sheen and everything it gave on the cloak. I like the fact that I was able to tie in the Pterodon Turquoise to match them up with my um, Alaris Custodes and everybody else. So the whole army has a genuine overall themed feel to it. The only difference I made with the Golds is on my Custodes, they get the Liberator Gold base, I believe it is, with a Reikland Flesh Shade. I want Agrax Earthshade with the second coat on the armor for the sisters to give them a little bit of a difference. Okay, so now let's get on to the other guys. <sighs> now with guard. So my Vexus dude, I really wanted something different because my Alaris Custody with the Vexillus is a straight gold. I didn't want everything just being gold all the way. I wanted something to kind of help distinguish unit by unit. So anything that has a Vexillus, I want to try to do something a little different. You know, it got the really, really standard stuff all the way around for me. 
I had a slight issue with the shield. I couldn't get it in as close to the body as I wanted to. Probably because I grabbed the wrong arm, knowing me. Probably because I didn't put it in a, you know, a direct proper area. But I figured why not have, as opposed to like a metallic look that I saw in the codex for where the red is, why not just give it that red treatment, my red recipe that I've been doing, same thing I did with the Vexillus. Everybody else is pretty much standard, and I hate to say it that way. I, yeah, you need to move before I accidentally break you. I keep poking the spear of one of the Vexillus, well, excuse me, the Virtus Praetors. So, I did two with Guardian Spears, you know, out of the five you get. Pretty much standard pose. I learned a lot from the last time that I did these guys. So matching up the arms was a lot easier. It was really, really easy. And the next thing I wanted, because I just, I wanted something different. Just because, why not? I did two with the swords. All right. I like the charging look he has, like he's running forward, raising his sword, like follow me. <clears throat> I also did the red on there. I didn't go into as much detail on the sword as I did with the shield captain, simply because I figured the shield captain's um, sword would be much more intricate detail because he's risen up through the ranks. So he would have something a little bit better on him, you know? And the other guy I did was like he was pointing right at somebody in combat going, you're next. So I stayed with the same theme with the Astro Granite, you know, and the Reichlin Flesh Shade. I really like how that's turning out. And no, I didn't put down any tufts because, I look, I understand on a battlefield you've got debris everywhere. You've got weird stuff everywhere. To me, it just wouldn't look right running through a bombed out crater. And, oh, look, there's grass. Can you leave that light alone, please? Thank you. But that's pretty much everything you can build and assemble. Like I said, you get 10 Sisters of Silence, so you can equip them anyway. I did five more with the bolt gun to round those guys out, round those sisters out. I did five with the swords, five with the flamers, simply because I wanted a big variety in my force. Now, with all this fun stuff being said, <laughs> oh, we're at the best part of the video to me. We really, really, truly are. Ooh, come here. I need you. Sorry, I always do this. I always drop it for some reason. I want to know your questions, comments, love, hatred, anger, all that fun stuff right down below. Do you do custodies? Have you picked up, you know, the combat patrol? How do you feel about what I just show, you know, shown you? Did you like the paint scheme? Because I am really, <coughs> truly enjoying figuring out different ways to paint gold. I realize, as Major Kill likes to call them, they're the banana boys. But they are the shining examples of the Emperor's justice coming into battle. I like the fact that basically a piece of dust could fall 60 feet behind them and it's going to register, you know, in there. You cannot sneak up on a custody. It's almost impossible, which also makes me go, that makes the blood game so much cooler. You know, do you do custodies? What do you have in your force? What are you planning in your force? Are you excited for Leviathan and a big reboot? From what I've seen, custodies are one of the first codexes to drop in their timeline. So I'm happy seeing how I do Space Marines, and I just picked up Custodes. So it's cool that everything, I'm really not going to be that much burnt in the beginning, going, eh, what am I going to do with this? What am I going to do? I'm, I'm just going to have fun. Now, if it made you laugh, made you cringe, made you cry, made you do any of that during this video, and I'm pretty sure that it did, please hit that big old thumbs up. It's only going to show love and support for the channel, and that is always appreciated. But there we go, guys. I can't say my quick look, but my look at the Adaptus Custodes Combat Patrol. I want to thank you guys for watching this one. I hope you're having a great day today, a safe day today, and I sincerely look forward one day to meeting all of you across the tabletop.